Hey everybody, we are at Politics and Prose today to get the scoop on Dwayne Wade's new book and to find out what it means to be a father first. So can you tell us a little bit about your new book and how fatherhood changed your life? Oh, well, I mean, fatherhood changed my life, I guess, in, in every way. You know, when you become a parent, um, you know, you put your kids first. And when, uh, when I got custody of my kids, um, I had to take a step back and I had to really make everything about them. So first thought when I wake up is about them and the last one when I put my head on the pillow. Um, so my book is just, you know, me really, you know, sharing my life experiences and my life is in the public eye. So a lot of things I've dealt with, you know, I had a very public divorce and custody case. And um, from that, I had a lot of people come up to me, have a lot of questions. Um, and I've seen as well, I gave a lot of a lot of families and a lot of fathers hope. Um, so from that, you know, I felt that I would share my experiences because I have this platform where, you know, no matter, you know, what I do, good or bad, um, you know, people listen in a sense. And I felt that I wanted to, you know, make it, put something out there that was positive, you know, something I felt could make a difference in a sense. So I'm not telling people how to be a dad or, you know, you should do this, you should do that. I just, for me, it's just sharing my experiences. So what are some of your favorite memories that you've had with your sons? I mean, I, I just enjoy, um, you know, moments that they that they want to do. You know, obviously I enjoy going to their school and just being a, I enjoy being a regular parent. You know, when I get to go pick them up from school or I get to go watch them play, you know, in, in, in their sports, um, whether it's soccer, whether it's basketball. And, you know, um, I, I enjoy those things. But most importantly, I just enjoy it every day, you know, when I come home and that noise and hearing them. I'm not the kind of, I said this earlier, I'm not the kind of dad that want it quiet in the house all the time. Sometimes I need that noise, you know. I need to know that they're happy. Right. I need to know that, you know, things are going well because, you know, we did have a tough time when I didn't see them for um, for a year and a half. And it, it was it was painful for me to not hear their voices, to not hear those screams and yells and, and things falling, you know, everywhere. So now to have that back, you know, I kind of want it. And um, so I just, I just enjoy being with them. Oh, we were so excited to be able to read your book. Um, now, you started the Wayne's World Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit more about the foundation and how to get involved? Well, I mean, how to get involved, um, it's easy as going to my, found, my foundation website, waysworldfoundation.org. And um, I started it, you know, way before I, it became official, you know, kind of when I started when I was a kid. And I used to look around the neighborhood I grew up in. I grew up in the inner city. Um, you know, and I just wanted more. And I remember saying to myself, even at a young age, that if I ever make it, I'm gonna make sure I come back and reach back. You know, and that's what I try to do. I try to go back to the community, um, to kids that's kind of like I was, um, and help educate them in many facets of life. And I reach back and, and try to make sure that we, you know we give them an opportunity in life to succeed.